Hi, I'm Natalia and today I'm going to be talking about, well, giving you a brief summary of something that has been happening in Mexico, Juarez, Mexico to be exact, for more than 16 years. Now Juarez is a small city in the state of Chihuahua, Mexico, and it's just a few miles away from El Paso, Texas. Now this is really close to the U.S. Because you see Juarez is right here and this is the border and here is El Paso, Texas. Now, there has been women murdered, raped, and tortured over the span of few days. And most of the time these crimes go beyond the act of simple killing. And you know, not nothing has been able to be done because you know the police force doesn't really care or are indifferent. Some people have suggested that the police force has been responsible for a lot of these murders. Now, um, if you guys want me to, I have a full report on this stuff and it's long, I just, I'm getting this out to see how it's going to be responded to. So if you guys want more information, you know, more exact information, I can give it to you. But I will tell you one thing that what I found really interesting was that right in El Paso, Texas, there's eight, around 800 don't quote me because I don't remember exactly. Um, 800 registered sex offenders. That's about 15 minutes away from Juarez. And um, the police have let out a report that it's been 400 and something women. But the people say it's close to more than 5,000 missing and killed women. And I remember... This happened in June of 2008 that a woman, she was pregnant, um, she was murdered, raped, beaten, and inevitably the fetus died. And last year, around some time, that nine-year-old was raped and killed. And, you know, this matters to me because, you know, I'm a woman and I find this femicide more than a little touching. And also because I'm Hispanic. I'm not Mexican, but it's still, I connect with it. And... Femicide, just explain just in case you guys didn't know what it was, is the systematic killing of women simply because they are women. Now I can give you a more detailed uh, description of what femicide means, but if you guys want the full report, I can say it in there. And if you guys want it, please comment, um, subscribe, because I plan to do a whole bunch of different reports on different things that do matter to me and that are not most of the time in the news. And if they were in the news, they were in a short period of time, and then they just disappeared. And thank you very much for watching. I'm Natalia, and bye.